shutting down free speech by claiming you're offended or that something should not be said, or inhibiting speech by criminalising journalism is an admission of failure to understand the whole concept of free speech. And if you don't understand free speech, you don't understand freedom. Unfortunately, there are quite a few people in that category who don't understand free speech. I became aware of just how many when the chaser decided to make fun of me because of my support for the free speech of Wicked Campus, a company which has slogans on its vans that some people find offensive. The chaser team waited outside my house in Sydney at 7.30 in the morning with a van painted with slogans based on those of Wicked Campus. They told me not to be a wowser and thought it was very funny that I, that I didn't find it terribly amusing. They also suggested that my lack of amusement in um, made me hypocritical in relation to my support for free speech. A few details are relevant. They didn't identify themselves, which led me to advise a Daily Telegraph journalist that I had been the subject of a protest outside my house. I told them to F off as I wasn't amused at being accosted outside my home and one of their slogans was homophobic. It appeared to me they were going to follow me into my front garden, which is why I said I would call the police. What my critics have overlooked is that at no stage did I say they had no right to say what they did. At no time did I suggest they should be prevented by law from saying it. I didn't think they were terribly smart and what they did was in poor taste and upset my wife. But that's where it ends. Free speech does not require me to find them amusing or appreciate what they said or even to remain and listen. All it requires is that I do not invoke the law. And can I say to Nina Oyama, Craig Roy Cassell, Zoe Norton Lodge, Kirsten Drysdale and the others, it would not require a lot of effort by me to find out where you live and to set up a sign outside your, your place which said rude things about you. If your response was to tell me to F off and that's all, then perhaps there might be some hope for you and your understanding of the concept of free speech. But I doubt if that's how you would react. I suspect you would act like crybabies and go running off to nanny government asking for the nasty man to be shut up. And that's why I say I don't believe you understand freedom, let alone free speech. And that's a shame. Freedom of speech is the paramount freedom. Without it, we struggle to exercise our other freedoms. With it, we can fight for those freedoms. <coughs> it may be offensive, insulting and make governments and people uncomfortable. But if this is the price to be paid for living in a society where all claims are open to question, then it is a price worth paying. <coughs>